what is this like? <laughs> uh, this is video, I think, number five within the course of a week. Uh, Chew's here. What's up, Chewbies? It's, um, what time is it? It's about 8.09, Saturday night. Um, I got a salad here. I know I'm way up close. I can tell now. Um, I went to Jewel Osco, kind of cheated. I didn't make anything. But this is a nice little salad. And I have meatballs and macaroni cheese. And for somebody who's always claiming how they don't like mac and cheese, um, certainly been having uh, enough of it more than I usually would. <laughs> But anyway, let's get started. I had to work today. Um, had a decent day, but I am feeling a little tired. Um, my allergies have been kicking in in the worst way. And so um, I'm just pouring a little ranch dressing on this salad. And um, I've just really been feeling it. So... I almost feel myself going to sleep a little while ago while well, falling asleep. So I'm just gonna. Sorry for that if that was too loud. I'm gonna do this video and then just kind of leave it, leave it be. And yes, um, in case you are wondering, my shirt does indeed say I pooped today. And that's because I did. Okay, so. We're gonna get started right here and right now. And what a way to get started, making a mess. <laughs> they had a salad bar. I should say they have a salad bar at the uh, Oscar, which is, you know what? I think I need to cut these peppers up. It's got like red, green, yellow, pe uh, yellow peppers and um, tomatoes. I put the cherry tomatoes on top, um, but the salad itself, uh, there's like spinach in here, romaine lettuce, uh, carrots, and mushrooms. And then I put the uh, cherry tomatoes and the cranberry, uh, dried cranberries and almonds. I'll put that in there. And that's a really nice, see you guys with that ranch dressing. That's a very good salad. Okay. Let's give you guys some meatballs. I've never had the meatball marinara. And for those of you who do not know, if because you are uh, live in another country, Jewel Osco is a grocery store, and um, they have a food bar and a salad bar. Mm. Okay. 
try and do that right. I want you guys to get some of this. Let's see. Let's see what I can do. I think I can. Let's see if I can just get a mixture here and then just put it all in my mouth. Hold on. So, there we go. Sorry, I missed out the one's gonna drop. Okay. <laughs> it's not good when food drops. I was trying to be adventurous. And if I didn't say what I was drinking, it's Minute Maid, just 15 fruit punch this time. <sighs> so I hope that you guys have uh, had a really nice day today. It wasn't as cold. Um, I think 50, uh, no, I'm sorry, 50, 30 degrees was the high. So it wasn't too bad. But it's always at night that it gets worse. Um, so you guys, I said that, um, I would share just a little something about myself with you in the next video that I did. And I kind of got this little idea from watching, um, Juicy, Ching Ju Juicy Tingles channel. Um, I think it was actually her, um, Glitter Girl channel. One of her subscribers was, usually when he gets on, you can almost bet that he's going to tell a story or just say something about his wig falling off. He's having some kind of an accident with that wig. And it made me think about the time in 2014. I started doing these videos in 2015. Well, in 2014, for about 10 months, I wore a dreadlock wig. And <laughs> I... How that started... A good friend of mine, he lives on the south side of the city. We, we, we would hook up. He would always be at his job, and he worked graveyard shift. That was the only time, because of our schedules, the only time we could get together. And as for as long as I've known him, he's always worn like a baseball cap or a do-rag. Even when there were people that he knew that died and they had uh, funerals, he would always wear a do-rag or a baseball cap because his he had like patchy hair. He didn't like um, his hair. And so he was gonna investigate getting a wig. And I saw the wig he was thinking about getting and I was like, you know, I wonder if I would look good in something like that. So we were gonna do it together. Um, he bought his, I bought mine and come to, f he didn't like his, I liked mine. So around 
around this, you know, he was going to re return his. And around the same period, I uh, was moving. I was moving to a new neighborhood. I was going to be living in the same building that my good friend uh, uh, John lives in or lived in. He has since moved from that building. But, um, I, you know, I had it on. It was about like this. And what I will do is on my Facebook page for the channel, I will post a picture of myself. One of the pictures I've saved uh, of that period with that wig. It was a woman's wig. Um, but there were guys, all the guys I knew, like on the south side, I would see them. They would be wearing that, you know. And when you see it, you know what I'm talking about. Well, um, I went to this new neighborhood and there were people in the building that had seen me bald, but not very many. But then the next thing I, I just said to myself, you know what, as soon as you walk out of that door with it on, all bets are off. So you, you're going to commit to it. And so that was what happened. And I committed to it for 10 months. I can't keep food on me, man. That's a big old meatball or half of half of meatball. It was very good, I must say. Well. I have a couple of stories about that wig that I'm going to share with you now. So, <laughs> I was living with the landlord. This was a, a very unique arrangement. In that same building, I was living with the landlord. Basically, like a, a glorified house sitter. I was paying, you know, a share of the rent, but... I was basically house sitting for him while he went, you know, to his other, uh, him and his partner had a condo, I think, in Miami. And, um, but when over this, when in the summertime, he would host these like summer barbecue uh, parties and stuff. Everyone would be out outside. And I met some of his friends from, you know, out of state. I forget if they, where they were from. And um, I had the wig on out there in the afternoon. Nice time barbecuing. All uh, most of the people that lived in the building were outside, and uh, I had a stocking cap underneath the wig. And you know, keep in mind, I didn't know anything about wearing these things, so. It felt really cool to me, and I felt like, oh, well, this is must be how you're supposed to wear it, because I feel really like, really like my head can breathe, you know. And um, someone told a joke out there, and I was sitting on the bench, and I must have did one of these, ha, 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 and the wig just slid right off in front of everybody at that party. I'm kidding. I'm kidding you not. I shit you not. Slid right the fuck off. <laughs> mm -hmm. And, you know, in that moment, all I could do was just say, Okay, well, that's that. <laughs> um, I'm sure that his, I'm sure people somewhere, anyone who remembers that has told that story to their friends. I am a story being told by someone. Hmm. Well, I'm going to tell them to keep this really cute. So, the first time I kind of wore it like to work, um, I saw a woman and she had real dreads. 
she's walking across this, she was walking like in the opposite direction of me and you know we kind of did that nod thing and it was almost like hair approval but i felt kind of fucked up because i was like she don't know man ain't real unless the wind blow because if the wind blew you know how you can tell something is a wig that's kind of how it looks so i had to be really careful <laughs> um anyway the other thing that um the other incident that happened there was a guy that i had met a while back on this uh dating site and we hadn't when i first met him it was like some time before i had got the wig i'd gotten the wig and um but we had never met. We just met online. We hadn't physically met, like, you know, up front. And so, um, I'm trying to remember. When I moved over to this location, turns out I was closer to him geographically. So I said, um, you know, we should meet, blah, 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 blah. Now, my, in my, on my account, my picture, I was bald and when he saw me and came to my came to my place I had the, the wig on and all he probably all he thought like was oh wow how long did it take you to grow that but he didn't say that but he was just like oh wow it looks great and I'm sh I'm assuming that he thought well in all that time that we had been communicating off and on I grew some locks. So let's just fast forward. We're we're in the bed. We're in the bed getting very hot and heavy. We're two big guys. You know, we're sweating and all this. And the thing slid off right in the bed. <laughs> it did. It slid off. And it, you know, I was, I was mortified, but it was just like, okay, well now you know. I'd had it happen before, so I, I, I guess I didn't learn my lesson with the. Um, I think that no, I don't. I don't think I had the stocking cap. It was just so we were just so heated and we're just moving around, and it just it came off, and. I don't really know what he thought, um, but we just decided to continue. But when I tell you that I've been through some adverse situations, those are the two main um, incidences that come to mind. So, I wore this wig for 10 months. I can't wait to show you guys how it looks. I will never do it again. I have a respect for people that wear them. It is very, very difficult. Mm. Oh my God. Those are, I think those are the only stories I can that I think I have that are other than the fact that, you know, when I was wearing the wig at work, it took people a while, obviously, to get used to it. And I think for me, it was, um, I just figured I liked it and I thought it looked good on me and I better do this now as opposed to waiting any longer, you know, where well, I was at an age where I felt like I could get away with it, you know. <laughs> oh. 
I'm not hitting that. I'm not hitting that mic. Yeah. That was a very interesting period in my life. Part of me still every now and then I'll have a hair dream I miss having hair I like the freedom of being bald but I, I do miss having hair I must say so ooh, okay um, let's see Look at my face. All right, you guys, I kind of can't believe that I've made so many videos this week. I think part of the reason is because of this microphone. I actually, and oh, I thank you guys for your feedback. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. I think for the most part, I do, I can tell a difference. I can tell a difference. Um, it's a clearer sound and um, it's a little more robust. Um, not as, I don't think it's as muted. And if it is, it's probably just the acoustics in this particular area. But. I think I'm gonna, oh, shoot. Man, I got banana pudding, you guys. I kinda don't wanna eat it now, shit. Oh man, fuck. I forgot about this, damn. Well, let me just see how it tastes. There's some wafer up on top. You can't really see it, but it's there. I think I rarely get to do dessert with you guys. I don't really have eat dessert. I mean, oh Lord, throat sound, shit. When I'm at home, I don't really get to like have a sweet dessert right after dinner. See, the girl, now she messed this up. There's more pudding in here than, than wafer. And I don't like that, can't it? I don't like that, okay? There must be equal portion of pudding, proportion of pudding to wafer. See, this makes me want to go back tomorrow and buy a pound of it and make sure that they get it right. But I'm not gonna do it. Okay, um, you know what? I think that's enough for me, you guys. I'm full. I'm gonna clean my palate out. Yeah, now that doesn't taste so sweet because of all that sweet pudding. Anyway, you guys, um, thank you so much for continuing uh, to support me. And I will upload this. I'll uh, post uh, pictures of myself, a picture or maybe a couple of pictures, if I can find like good ones, of that 10-month uh, period in 2014 where I wore this wig and um, 
yeah so i have had fun i hope you guys have too i am on allergy medication and i think it's wearing off uh if you guys 